How about plant-based eating while on a trip across the country? How did I do with my tape plates then? Well, <laughs> this is what I thought it was going to look like. So just a little bit about the trip. We were on a 26-day trip across the country. We went from our home state all the way to California and back to our home state. We thought we were going to be eating a lot of french fries and onion rings. I, I really did. I thought, well, it won't be a problem. I'll eat some salads here and there and I'll be good. We'll be active. We'll be hiking. So we'll be okay. I was pleasantly surprised to find that there's lots of good options, but you know, I did eat a lot of fries <laughs> and a lot of salads. They were very good from different places. So when you're at a restaurant, of course, you can go with the potatoes. Um, you can go with fresh fruit from the grocery store. Different things to kind of keep the variety going. There are also lots of great options. Um, this was one of my favorite meals. We ate this several times. It's a Southwest salad with no meat, no dairy, and the lovely waffle fries. This was a very good meal, very nutritious. Felt good after eating it. So that was a good choice. Um, you can order that in the app. Just make whatever changes you want to make. And um, that was a good way to do it, too. Know the apps of the restaurants that you like. There's some more fries we ate. <laughs> um, we also, along the way, picked up an iron skillet and grilled several things. This was one of our favorite things to grill. We had um, the onions, the squash, the zucchini. We had cans of beans with us. We had cans of refried beans, cans of black beans. We had ready rice so that we could microwave it, but a lot of the places we were didn't have a microwave because we were outside <laughs> or at cabins that didn't have microwaves. So having that iron skillet, um, we cooked over fires, we cooked over the grill, things like that. This is a, a lovely plant-based chicken sandwich that I had. At one of the places we were staying, I had seen that there was a Whole Foods market around the corner. So I was going to walk around the corner and between me and the market was a plant-based eatery. So I stopped in there, had a chicken sandwich, um, you know, a plant-based chicken sandwich. So keep your eyes open for things. Okay, that jumped over that one quick, but that was just a little um, flour tortilla filled with refried beans, rolled up, and air fried. This was a thing we cooked in the air fryer. I'll talk more about that later, but the air fryer turned out to be a great thing. when <laughs> We didn't have a grill. We used the air fryer to cook some things. This was a meal I just needed some nutrition. So we went to the grocery store. I got a salad mix. This was a I think an Asian salad mix that had a wonderful dressing in it, a ginger dressing. Um, so just think outside the box when you're traveling. Always bring a bowl with you as well. That's a good idea. So you can just throw a salad mix in there and eat your salad. Don't be afraid to ask for what you want. This place didn't have a lot on the menu that I wanted to eat, but they had this lovely bean salad and they had potatoes. So I asked if they would grill some onions to go on my potato and they did. It, they were happy to do it for me and it was really good. The um, avocado that just flashed through, those were wonderful. This was uh, buffalo fried cauliflower, and although I didn't love it, it was a great, great option there to do something a little different. And then, of course, the chopped up veggies. So that was a, a nice option. Don't be afraid to try something different. These These dried cucumber chips were delicious. They had dried okra. It was so good and it was just a nice fun little snack as well. This was at a gas station so you know just keep your eyes open for things. At the beach my favorite breakfast was the bagel with the <laughs> the lovely avocados and tomatoes and cilantro. This was so good and so refreshing. And again, just, you know, keeping your eye out for things, different things. This was a food truck on the beach that had this beautiful breakfast. 
I will have to say that I love California avocados. They were so good. That's another thing you can do is take a look around and see what kind of orchards or groves you can go visit. I had <laughs> avocados that were delicious for days because we stopped at this grove. Another thing to do is to be really good at using Google. So we wanted potatoes one day. We searched seasoned potatoes and found a restaurant that had, was famous for their seasoned potatoes. So we were able to go enjoy that. These were delicious. Look at the menu carefully. If there's something that's close, maybe a BLT. Ask for the BLT without the bacon, <laughs> without the mayonnaise. Ask for avocado instead. This was actually on the menu, though. This was a veggie sandwich that they had there, and it was really good. Really, really good. This was, oh, this was a great creation. We fried some apples and drizzled maple syrup and... Um, almonds on it, it a little cinnamon I think we had with us. So that was a lovely creation. Be, be creative with what you have with you. Again, the grocery store. Have some of those things that you can create something with whenever you're just needing some things. This was actually um, <laughs> the, the least favorite meal that I got. It was, you know, a vegan meal. It was... Um, very expensive and very small amount. It was very good, but it wasn't very filling. So be prepared for that. Sometimes you may have to add a salad. This was one of our feasts. That's what I'll call it. This was at a campground. We camped over, I mean, we cooked over a fire with our iron skillet. That was our fried, fried apples up there. We had corn tortillas, the rice, the beans, the corn, canned corn, avocados, just delicious. So delicious. Another good thing to look for is a pizza place. Um, you can have whatever veggies you want on the pizza. No cheese, um, you know, no meats. It's delicious. This was actually like a New York type pizzeria and oh, it was good. It was so good. Just ask for what you want on it. They'll do it. Usually, if they say no, well, <laughs> have a salad. But you can usually get them to make something wonderful for you. This was an amazing meal. Huge portions. Very reasonably priced. It was on the beach somewhere in California. A little place, you know, right on the little main stretch of the beach there. It was black rice. That's tofu in there. Um, there was a wonderful sauce on it. The vegetables were cooked perfectly. Just a wonderful, wonderful meal. This was another one of our grilled things. We, we did a lot of the rice and the vegetables. Um, easy, but very, very delicious and very nutritious for us. So again, that's zucchini, squash, onions, and just one of the Uncle Ben's rice, ready rice bags. And we threw it on the grill, on the skillet. There were blackberries everywhere uh, through a couple of states. So we stopped and picked some. <laughs> they were delicious. Great treat to have. So look around, see what's around you. Stop at the fruit stands. There were some delicious things at some, some local fruit stands. Another breakfast bagel with avocado, onions, and they called the topping there, they called it slug slime. <laughs> I don't know why, um, but it was just, you know, like an everything bagel type seasoning. This was a delicious thing, a, a lovely little place to have a breakfast too. <laughs> this was a, a meal from a restaurant on the beach again 
we we actually went there because we wanted pizza and they you know were supposedly the best pizza in the place in the area but they didn't have enough staff to make the pizzas so they didn't have pizza and then i saw avocado tacos on the menu but they didn't have avocados for that so this was a a rice veggie bowl it had impossible burger chunks in it um and it came with a lovely avocado it was it was really good Again, we're back to our grilling. The We had this several times. We had the um, squash and zucchini and onions. Great, great food. Again, don't leave home without an iron skillet. We used a little bit of plant-based butter to season it and to, you know, make the vegetables not just stick to it. We tried to keep that within reason. This was on the menu somewhere. It was a, um, you know, a veggie burger with sweet potato fries. And it was just lovely and, and delicious. So keep an eye out on the menu for the vegetarian things. They're, they're usually there somewhere. This was a really cool place. Again, being good with using Google, I wanted to go to an all-vegan restaurant. So we found this place in Moab, Utah. Well, my daughter found this place in Moab, Utah that um, sounded really cool. So we went there. It turned out to be like a food truck, a, a farm to table food truck. And it was amazing. <laughs> the food was amazing. The zucchini was picked fresh that morning from the farm that was just right over a couple of blocks down. It was a very cool place and very good food. So be good with Google. Again, with the asking for what you want, this was a, a the best example of that. <laughs> there was a dish on the menu that was a chicken fajita in served in a pineapple, half of a pineapple. And I asked them if they would do a veggie version with rice and if they would fill it up, you know, if they would fill that pineapple up for me. And they did. It was sizzling. It was delicious. So wonderful. Just don't be afraid to ask. This was a, just a veggie sandwich, nice and fresh ingredients, very good, just at a Subway, uh, not a Subway, a sandwich shop that um, had that on the menu, super easy. A noodle place, always find a noodle place because you can always get noodles and veggies <laughs> and a salad. That was a delicious meal as well. Uh, again, a lot of the Southwest salads, we had that a lot. Um, these were truly the best onion rings I've ever had in my life. I think that was in Wilson, Kansas. We went to a lot of places, so I'm not sure where it was exactly. Um, sweet potato fries were very good there as well. Don't leave home without an air fryer. It saved the day anywhere we didn't have a microwave. You can use the little pot just to heat things up. Don't leave home without an iron skillet because you can use it to grill. So hopefully this gave you some ideas of when you're traveling, some things that you can do um, either to take with you from the grocery store or things that you can ask for or things to look for on the menus. Hope you enjoyed this tour of the food that we had on our 26-day trip. It was amazing. I hope everyone gets to do something like that. But even if you're just going out to eat, you can definitely stay plant-based.